Ballroom Blitz by Sweet. Okay, let's jam through all the sections here, and at the very end, I'll go through each one with some detail for you. <laughs> So kicking off this intro here, uh, of course there's like a drum intro with some uh, vocal on it, but uh, once the guitar comes in, um, we have this uh, main riff, and it's basically just, uh, you know, your typical blues riff, um, you know, going from the five, six, seven, you know, if you want to throw in a seven, this one does. Um, so basically we're up here at an E, a higher voiced E, so the uh, seven on the A and nine on the D. Basically, we just hit that, so that's our E5, and now we add that 6 to it, so it's going to be basically a pinky over here on the 11 of the D. Okay, then we add the 7, so come on over to the 12, with the pinky. Okay, and then we go back to the 6. And finish on our 5. Okay, so basically, we're just moving the the D string from the 9, 11, 12, 11, back to 9. Okay, so it's a bit of a stretch, but uh, it's definitely like a blues progression that you want to be able to do. So, um, And if that's even too much, you can even come all the way up here and do it this way so that the frets are closer. You know, just come up a set of strings and be on the 12 of the E and do it there. Uh, but this is fine for me, so I'll just do it here. Okay, so that's basically the main riff. And you want to do that four times in the beginning there. So it'd be something like this. Okay, the verse starts. And uh, basically we just kind of shift to an A. And uh, we do a similar blues pattern. You know, but here we're just going to go between the 5 and the 6 for the A, which basically we're just hitting the open A string, and then 2nd fret on the D, and then coming up to 4 on the D. Okay, and with this, the strumming on it, you want to do uh, a couple at the 2nd fret. And you can palm mute this a little bit too, it makes it sound nice. Okay, and then we come over, hit 2 strums with the 4 on the D, open A. 
come back to the second with the open A. And we're going to hit that twice and then quickly hit it again. So it's like one and then two quick ones. All right. All right. And then just a really quick four, two, four on the D. Okay. It just kind of bounces back in between that really quick at the end. All right. So it'd be something like this. Try it slowly here. Okay. Something like that. All right, so it's just got that really bouncy kind of feeling. All right, and that's going to happen twice. And then basically, we're just going to come back and do our main riff again twice. Okay, so pretty simple, just alternate between those. Uh, do the first one a couple times, next one a couple times, and then just do that whole thing twice. So uh, after we get through all that, there's a vocal break with some drums. And that goes on for, you know, a few measures. And then we just come in and we hit this uh, E chord here, you know, right at the oh yeah scream. It's just okay, just before the uh, pre-chorus starts. So we can try this all together now. pre-chorus section so we switch into some new chords and this is just more you know just kind of you can strum each chord once or you can just kind of chug it you know whatever sounds good to you I think the initial pre-chorus he just hits it once and they're basically just some power chords all right so uh, the first one would be a F sharp okay so second on the E four and four on the uh, A and D here and just hit it and let it go for a couple measures okay, then we switch to an A Go for a couple measures. Then up to C, here at the third fret of the A. And then we come up to that E on the seventh fret of the A, with nines on the D and G. And this one, you just let this go for about four measures. Okay, and if you want, you can come on and strum it some more times or just let that ring. Okay, so just. Uh, all together for this. Alright, in the chorus section, this is more just kind of like uh, palm muting and just like uh, eighth note strumming. So just something like... Something like that, you know, just really quick strumming on it. Um... And it's going to start at that F sharp again with just some power chords. And we're only going to do this for a measure's worth this time around. Okay, so like I said, just some eighth note strumming on it. Okay, just something like that. Measure's worth. Then we jump up to the A. Same deal. All right, and now uh, we're going to go to a B. Okay, so just second on the A, four on the D. And uh, just a measure's worth. All right, and then come all the way up and hit the E for a measure, the seven. All right, and we go through that whole progression twice. All right, and after we go through that entire progression a couple times, then we get the ballroom blitz part, and it's just kind of syncopated with this uh, chord progression here where we're going to be at the D, okay, just power chords, and uh, okay, so fifth fret on the A, seven on the D, and it's just, like I said, goes right along with that ballroom blitz vocal. So hit the D, come up right to the 6 for the D sharp, and start the next measure with the E at the 7th fret. Okay, and after you hit that, then you can just hit it, you know, some dead string sounds. Okay, to fill out the rest of the measure. Okay, so that section would just be like... Something like that, and we'd go through that uh, about four times. All right, so now I'll just put this uh, whole chorus together for you. Okay, 
Okay, and after that first chorus, then we get this second guitar that's coming in, and uh, it's just kind of a little more distorted, and it just comes down low and just plays a different voicing uh, for like the verse and uh, what have you. It kind of does it during a, just a main riff section, and then it'll keep doing it throughout the uh, next verse. Okay, and it's just basically doing like the uh, the five, six, and seven of the E here. So it's going to be hitting the second fret of the A, then to four, five, back to four, back to two. So it's like... Okay, almost sounds like satisfaction or something like that. So it's just kind of doing... And it'll, it'll just keep doing that, like... Alright, and it's just a little more distorted and a little lower and it just adds a little something extra for the next that section. Okay, so just all together, something like this. Alright, and after the second chorus, uh, we get through that, we get kind of this breakdown where it's like some bass soloing and then some guitar just kind of accenting with like variations of what happens at the end of the normal chorus. Okay, so it's doing like... Uh, that five to six here on the A, but then it just stops and then it rests for a moment and then it will come back and hit the five again. So it's like. You know, it's just this really funky little breakdown that they put in there. So it's like, um, we're gonna go through that three times. Like I said, initially there's some bass soloing and then you would just do that, okay? All right, and then just repeat that three times. And then once we get uh, in through it the fourth time, like we'll do the five to six. All right, and then there's a little bit of a, a solo or whatever you want here, a little scaling going on. So we do like, and then we come over hammer on seven to nine on the D and then hit seven on the G. And we're gonna do that, just reel that same thing off about five times like, Okay, and then come way up here, we're going to do a bend on the 15 of the B while hitting the 12 on the E, and just do about three big bends with that. Okay, so uh, try this all together here for you. During that uh, same post chorus there, um, while the uh, first guitar is doing that breakdown section, the okay, it'll it'll do that a couple times, and then a second guitar will come in and do this uh, riff here, uh, where we're going to be at seven on the A, and then we're going to hit that, come down, pull off nine to seven on the G. Okay, then we hit seven on the D. And then we hit 7A, hammer 7 to 9 on the D, and then 7G. Okay, and then finish it all off by doing 7A, and then hammer on 7 to 9 on the D. Okay, so it's something like, slowly here, we do. Once you get the uh, movement down there, then it's just a matter of getting it up to tempo. And you want to go through this about four times. Okay, once we get to the third pre-chorus, uh, it just kind of does like a, a variation of it here where we have that kind of more uh, distorted guitar. and. Uh, it's uh, just kind of playing like the fifth of the chords that are happening there. So um, it's just going to do a four on the D for a couple measures. Okay, then go to two. And then it will go to the three on the A. And then hit an open E. Okay. 
It's just a funny, different voicing that they put in at the end there for variety, I suppose. Okay, so just put that together now. All right, and during the outro, uh, we get this um, different take on the uh, riff here where uh, we're just going to hit uh, the, the 7E here, the higher voicing. So 7A and the 9s on the D and G there. Hit that once, do a couple of dead strings, and then hit it again. So it's like, all right. And then we're going to do, you know, about six dead string strums, like, all right. And then finish all off by doing a really quick E here at the seven with the nines. And then just really quick hit that and then go down two frets and hit the D at the five and sevens. Okay, it just happens really quick. Okay, so put it together slowly now. All right. And this happens about four times and it just gets tossed in there at the outro, so uh, try it up to tempo for you. All right, and at the very end, like, you know, just before the song starts fading out, uh, we get a little bit of soloing that happens. And uh, initially, basically, it just comes up and does some really high voicings of like an E minor scale. All right, and just a few notes of it, really, uh, where we're going to be at like the 12 of the D, hit it, go 12 to 14, 12 to 14 again. Okay. Then we hit 12 G. Hit one more time. And then we come off from 12 to 11 on the G. Okay, that's where kind of that minor comes in. And then we're going to go between 14 G to 12. And then 12 to 11. And just kind of go, you know, a few times between the 14, 12 to 12 to 11. Okay, just playing around with that. And this is like a really loose... Uh, you know, kind of slapdash solo. So, you know, you can mix these in and tinker around with it. But we just kind of mess around with that a little bit. And then we'll kind of get to our uh, familiar riff that happens at the end of the break with our... Okay, and you can just, like, play around with that a little more, you know. Like, get a little looser with it and just kind of go go where you want with it. Uh, so, you know, just, just to put this together and, uh, give you a sense of how it's feeling. Okay. Just something like that really just loose fun. And then the song fades out. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tableture books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.